back to another video and in this video I want to show you guys this this is my inline 2 vacuum engine made out of Lego this is the very first vacuum engine I've made without a tutorial I've made some in the past but this is the first one I made without a tutorial and it's an inline 2 and I am very impressed with the result so in this video I'm going to run over some of the details of the engine and then I'm going to give you a demonstration so stick around for the video and uh, there will be an important announcement at the end. So let's just start off at the very base. This may seem a bit boring, but I'm just running through the entire thing for you. So the base is supported by four bricks high because I use larger flywheels. If I use smaller flywheels, uh, it could be smaller, but I'm not. And it is on a 16 by 8 base plate. And has two larger flywheels on both sides uh, to help with it running because if there was one there would be less momentum on this side having it run possibly slower not sure if that's a hundred percent true and then uh, right here we have a support for the flywheel because during testing the flywheel will continuously break off from the piston right here so I gave it some more support and it works great and now moving on to the piston in case you're wondering, these are valves, as I'm pretty sure people who have built vacuum engines would know that. And the pistons, as you have probably noticed, are offset by 80 degrees, and the valves are offset by 80 degrees as well. So when this one is down, this one is up. And the pistons and the valves are offset by 90 degrees. And so when it's running right now, the valve is open, allowing suction to flow in here while allowing air to flow out of here, creating suction and forcing it up. And then it's cut off and the momentum of the flywheels have it continue running until the valve is open again. As well as since these are opposite from each other, when this valve is uh, closed like it is now, this valve is open and then vice versa. So you always have air flow of some kind. Moving on to the valve and exhaust system. The valve and exhaust uh, system were, was greatly inspired by KF plus LEGO machinery, so be sure you uh, check him out in the description below. And I am really impressed with his valve mechanism. So right now, the valve is open. So when the vacuum is on the end of the carburetor, it's allowing air, uh, air to get sucked out here and then flow full up. Uh, but then the valve is closed and the piston goes down and you might and you probably do notice this hole It is now open. It wasn't open while the valve was Technically open when the valve is closed this hole is open acting as an exhaust So it doesn't have a designated exhaust uh, port the valve acts as two different valves one to allow air in and to allow air out it was very very well done that's really all we have for the valve. And moving on to the final part, which is the throttle. Again, inspired by uh, KF Plus. And this throttle is just very basic. This is the throttle when it's closed, and, you know, and you'll notice right here, there is a very small gap between these pieces and here, allowing a bit of airflow. So when it runs, you'll see this is the demonstration. It just kind of sits there running, not a whole lot of stuff happens. But when you open it, that is where a ton of airflow comes in, having it run very quickly. And that's pretty much the overview of the engine. So if you're still uh, staying here and watching, let's get onto the demonstration. Now let's get to the part that you guys have all been waiting for, which is a demonstration. vacuum engine I lubricated it a ton with canola oil so um, that contributed to how smoothly it ran but thanks so so much for watching this video and um, if you want to go down into the description and check out my shorts channel 
because that's where you'll get sneak peeks of future machines and you'll be able to see my next project. Uh, I won't tell you what it is at this video, but if you want to know what it is, you can go to my short channel and this is what it is. Uh, so, uh, thanks so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.